Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Yagnik's Physiology Hub. I am Dr. Amishri Yagnik and today we are going to discuss very important topic from the nervous system is receptors. This video is for first year BHMS, MBBS, BMS and other paramedics. For the better understanding, kindly watch till end. Thank you. Topics to be covered in this lecture that is definition, classification of receptors and properties of receptor. Definition. They are defined as biological transducers which receives the stimuli and convert the various forms of stimuli in the environment into action potentials that is nerve signals in nerve fibers. Now what is biological transducers? Transducers they are one sort of device which convert one form of energy into the another form of the energy. Say for example the receptor will receive the stimuli from anywhere and that will be converted into the action potential that is a kind of the messages or impulses which will be transmitted to the nerve fibers classification of receptors receptors are classified in two types extraceptors and introceptors extraceptors the receptors which give response to stimuli arising from outside the body are called extraceptors they are divided into three groups cutaneous receptor that is related to skin chemoreceptors that is chemical receptors and teleceptors the receptors which are away from the body cutaneous receptors receptors on skin are called the cutaneous receptors they also respond to the mechanical stimuli like touch pressure and pain so they are called the mechanical receptors vibrations are also received by touch and pain receptors here is the example see someone is pinching on the skin these are the three layers epidermis dermis and hypodermis in dermis layer there are the receptors thermoreceptors senses heat or cold and these are the Misner's copper skull which will sense the touch touch sensation is felt by the Misner's copper skull these are the receptors huh? nociceptor senses the pain Pacinian copper skull senses the pressure so pressure is sensed by Pacinian copper skull pain is sensed by nociceptor then touch is sensed by the Misner's copper skull and senses of the heat and cold they are sensed by the thermoceptors Chemical receptors. Receptors responding to the chemical stimuli are called the chemical receptors. Examples are test buds for taste and olfactory receptors for the smell. This is the shape of the test bud and here there are the olfactory nerves and there the olfactory receptors are located. Okay. Teleceptors. Teleceptors responding to stimuli arising away from the body as they are also responding to the stimuli at distance they are also called the distance receptors examples are rods and cones in retina for vision hair cells in organ of corti for hearing so these are the shape of the rod, rods and cones these are the receptors for the vision for seeing these are the hair cells which is useful for the hearing Introceptors. Receptors responding to the stimuli arising from within the body are called introceptors. Introceptors are of two types. Visceroceptors. Receptors located in the viscera, that is organ, are called the visceroceptors. For example, baroreceptors in blood vessel, stretch receptors in heart, osmoreceptors in urinary tract and brain, and chemoreceptors in GI tract. Proprioceptors. Receptors responding to the change in position of different parts of body are called the proprioceptors. For example, muscle spindle for muscle, Golgi tendon organ for tendon, Pacinian copper skull for skin and free now endings for muscles and hair cells for the vestibular apparatus. This, what is the proprioceptors? So any change in the body which will be responded, okay if there is any change in the position of the body like you are standing and then you are sitting this change in the position which it will be received by the proprioceptors properties of receptors specificity of response it is also known as muller's law as it was discovered by muller specific sensation will respond to specific type of receptor only for example pain sensation will respond to pain receptor temperature temperature receptor will respond to the temperature receptor only so that is known as the specificity of the response adaptation sensory adaptation when a receptor is being continuously stimulated with constant strength there will be decline in discharge of sensory impulses it is called adaptation say for example whenever you are doing any sort of sit-ups okay so in sit-ups earlier you will be finding some sort of the pain okay 
exhaustion all that things will be felt earlier but when you continuously do that job then you will add up to it then the pain sensation dec decreases so this is the example of the adaptation touch and pressure receptors are the phasic receptors which get rapidly adapted muscle spindle cold and pain receptors are the tonic receptors which get slowly adapted response to increase in strength of stimulus now if you want to double the strength of response to stimulus then the strength of stimuli must increase by 100 times now say for example if any of the response to the stimuli is to be increased then the stimulation should be very strong and it should be 100 times stronger than the respond you are expecting okay so that is the respond to increase in strength of stimuli now another thing is the another property is the sensory transduction transduction means conversion of one form of energy to another it is a process by which the stimuli or energy in the surrounding is converted into action potentials that is electrical impulses in nerve fibers depending on type of receptor Touch receptor convert mechanical energy into action potential in the sensory nerve fibers and chemo receptors converts chemical energy into sensory nerve fibers. So any sort of the receptor by receiving stimuli, that stimuli or that energy has to be converted into the form of the action potential then and only then that will be further propagated to the nerve fibers. Okay, then receptor potential. When receptor potential is stimulated, non-propagated transmembrane potential difference develops. It is also called generator potential. Receptor potential is short-lived and hence it is called transient receptor potential. Receptor potential is not action potential. It is similar to the excitatory post-synaptic potential in synapse. Now what will happen over here? See, say for example over here all the exchanges of the ion will take place okay but that respond will remain on the surface itself it will not not propagate means it will not move from one place to another place it will remain local so therefore this is known as the generator potential that's why it is known as the generator potential and they are usually short-lived okay and you will understand about the excitatory post synaptic potential when we will study synapse in detail thank you please do like share subscribe comment and if there are any queries please mention in the comment box